Happy New Year, everyone. Chad Slego, founder and president of Slego Finance, along with my partner and colleague, Chad Tobin. I hope all of you are off to a very successful and exciting 2022. I know we are here at Slego Financial. We're looking forward to kind of getting that pandemic and COVID behind us and getting that back to what we, I guess, Chad, call a new normal, if you will, if not the normal that we were all used to before the pandemic hit. Speaking of that, Chad, you know, one thing I think we've learned from COVID and the pandemic is how important community is to all of us. And one thing we decided to do this year, of course, in the past, we've given to a lot of charities uh, throughout the past 15 to 20 years. But one charity that we decided to do or what we've decided to do with our, our charitable giving, if you will, is to start our own charity called Teaming Up for Good here at Slego Finance. And our goal is to get behind one cause, one main cause each and every year and give to that charity. And our goal and our I guess our cause and our goal for this year is going to be first responders. Those people that you don't realize how much you need them, Chad, until something happens and you do need them, but they're very, very important to all of our communities. And that's going to kind of be our charity or the cause we get behind, if you will, here in 2022. Well, and we thought it, it was uh, something we're excited about to be able to give back to such a good cause as we've seen first responders throughout the country, as we have offices in, you know, three different states now. Um, so the importance of the first responders and being able to have an impact for them, we felt very excited about, but also uh, we felt that you, our clients, were going to be able to get behind this as well. So we'll have more to come on that, how you can give to that, and, and how we plan on raising money for that, that charity and our charity teaming up for good. The other thing we want to talk about are some of the events that we have coming up here in 2022. Unfortunately, the past couple of years, we've been, we've been unable, Chad, to have our big events and really be in front of you, our clients. We've kind of been limited with that. Hopefully here in 2022, a lot more things are going to start opening up. We're going to be uh, bringing back our golf event every uh, this year, uh, which unfortunately we weren't able to have the past couple years, but it's something we're excited about. We love to do, and we love to be out there uh, in nature with our, our clients as well as swinging the club, if you will. Yeah, and, and you know the golf event is one that uh, you know personally I get excited about, but you know our VIP events, the client events, um, and, and different other events that many of you have been a part of and, and were accustomed to over the last probably 10 plus years and uh, the last couple years making that a challenge. So we're excited to be bringing, to be back in front with you having fun and, and really learning, educating ourselves, and having fun. So we'll bring more information on that uh, as it becomes available. The other thing we want to talk about, as Chad just mentioned, education and why that is so important. Uh, you know, our goal has always been from day one is to educate and empower you to make better decisions with your hard-earned dollars. And of course, we're going to continue to do that through our different educational workshops that we give in your area and at the different universities, as well as through our TV show that we have in all of our areas where our offices are located, as well as we're very excited this year to be starting a brand new YouTube channel to educate and again to empower you to make better decisions with your hard-earned dollars. We're going to bring you a lot of information, a lot of good educational videos, not necessarily long, three to five minutes, some a little bit longer, but really on areas that are important at this stage of your life, how to create an income stream. 401ks, uh, 72Ts, a lot of things out there that we take for granted. We talk about it each and every day, but we really want to give you the X of the O's and the nuts and bolts of what you need to understand in each one of these various areas. Yeah, and I think, you know, as Chad mentioned, we take a lot of that for granted doing this every single day, but, you know, uh, topics like he just mentioned that uh, whether it helps you or you have family members or friends that you can share that with, um, people getting ready to retire, these are important uh, at this stage of the game and I think we just want to be able to try and add more value and help in any way we can. So speaking of value Chad let's talk a little bit about the market you know uh, at the beginning of this year the market was at an all-time high uh, which is very good a lot of people have got back a lot of those losses they incurred you know from March of 2020 and it got a lot of those losses back so let's talk a little bit about what we saw in 2021 and maybe what we see going forward here in 2022. Well, and, and the markets, obviously, um, you know, the pandemic has kind of done some things to help boost the markets. And as investors, we've all uh, really liked uh, 2021 and having those nice returns. However, you know, inflation, um, interest rates being held low and consumer spending, you know, these are all things that you know, during the pandemic helped these markets come up. However, moving into 22, you know, inflation is going to be a big key with 
rising interest rates and us as consumers maybe not spending as much due to inflation costs, you know, it's probably going to cause a, a little bit tougher and a more challenging market moving into this year. So we're keeping an eye on that, how that, that's going to happen. Um, the Fed is always going to continue to stay in the headlines as they've mentioned they're going to raise rates. So we'll continue to watch that happen throughout the year. And I think uh, one other thing is really just understanding the President Biden's Build Back Better plan um, that is now kind of in hold uh, in Congress at the end of the year. So those are all things that are probably going to make this market a little bit more challenging in 2022 than it was in 2021. Definitely some red flags, Chad. As you mentioned, inflation, highest it's been since 1982. Uh, taxes we know are going up. We don't know when and we don't know how much, but those are things that we're going to continue to watch as well as the marks. And of course, as always, folks, uh, you know, we talk about reviewing 2021, looking forward to 2022 and beyond. If there's anything that you need to know about out. Uh, if any changes are coming down the pipe, we always want to make sure that we're forward thinking. We have that information in front of you. So if there's any strategies or any, any things that we need to be doing ahead of time, we want to make sure we're ahead of that. Of course, as always, communication is key. Education is key. And those are things that we're going to be continue to communicate with you. And again, if you have any questions at all, if you have any concerns before we reach out to you for your reviews, for your strategy visits, if you will, please do not hesitate to give us a call here at our offices. And we want to say, uh, looking forward to an exciting 2022. I'm um, glad to have all of you with us and uh, want to say I have a lot of exciting things planned ahead. Very excited to get back to the events, to get back to the community, get, get back with you folks and get in front of you and, and really just kind of uh, share a lot of good times. Unfortunately, we've been unable to have the past couple of years. So happy new year and we look forward to seeing you all very soon.